including Dylan's forecast. But we'll start with NBC's Dana Griffin. She's in Dylan. She's in for Al. Hey, Dylan. Good morning, guys. Yeah, it's the rain and then the wind because the ground is totally saturated. So if you get wind gusts up to 30, 40 miles per hour, everything kind of topples because it doesn't have that secure foundation in that wet ground. We do still have the flash flood watches and warnings still in effect. Include San Francisco under a watch right now, and the rain is pretty heavy, although moving to the east. We are going to see more rain take hold down across Southern California, too. And then this also means more mountain snow. So this is probably the last storm system we'll see for a while. As it moves inland, it'll bring that snow and the rain into the southwest, and we are looking for several inches of snow and uh, I'd say several feet of snow, actually, also several inches of rain, too. And that threat will continue to move eastward as we go into Tuesday. So we're looking, I'd say, an additional one to two inches of rain, especially in interior parts of California. We could see rainfall rates up to a half an inch per hour. Again, that leads to the threat of flooding and the mudslides, too. And even in the Sierra Nevada, the mountain range, we could see another 36 inches of snow before all is said and done as this moves eastward. Chanel. All right, Dylan, thank you. Today, watching. And guys, we were just talking. It's been two weeks since the DeMar Hamlin mm, thing happened. It's, hard it's incredible. To it's only been two weeks. Yeah. You know, well, we're just happy he's, he's bouncing okay back. and he's getting yeah. better. All right, let's bring back in Dylan now for the rest of your forecast. Yeah, and it is a, a little messy in certain parts of the country, especially out west where we have yet another storm system making its way on shore. Mountain snow, too. Light snow also across the northern plains and the upper Midwest, across Minnesota. Northwestern Wisconsin. It's warm down south, but we could see a couple of spotty storms today, especially uh, through the Ohio River Valley as we go into this afternoon. But in the Northeast, we had some light snow, 1.6 inches of snow in Boston, bringing up the total for the season close to three inches. Not much for New England, that's for sure. But that storm will continue to exit and temperatures will be in the 30s and 40s. That's a look at the weather across the country. We'll get to your local forecast in the next 30 seconds. And that's your latest forecast. All right. All right, Dylan. Still ahead, triumph to tragedy at the University of Georgia. Dylan, Dylan. Good morning again, guys. It is cold in a lot of places, especially down south. Look in Florida right now where we have frost advisories and freeze warnings extending all the way into southern Florida. Miami feels like 47 degrees right now. It's only 40 in Fort Myers, Orlando to Daytona Beach, 37 degrees. It is very, very cold in the southeast, also cold enough in the northeast for some snow, especially across uh, down east Maine into the Boston area where we've had about an inch and a half of snow. The storm itself is going to continue to move eastward and up into Bangor, Maine. We have more of that icy mix uh, and where the ice is falling, we could end up with that glaze, that coating on the ground that makes things very, very slippery. Also is dangerous for power lines too. down through Massachusetts into New Hampshire. We also have some of that light snow falling and it won't accumulate all that much, but enough to make things a little slippery if you're out and about this morning. We also have a little bit of light snow falling across the northern plains and the upper Midwest and back through Illinois today we could see some rain and some scattered storms that's look at the weather across the country now here's a peek out your window and that's your latest forecast all right thank you dylan up next inside the search for america's newest oh, stinking bed. Bed. <laughs> uh, we're back with the sleepy little town in maine now buzzing with excitement this morning after the winning ticket in that historic mega millions drawing was purchased there nbc's kathy park joins us really the nice sharing yeah. the love yeah. all around that is nice would you stay anonymous i i don't know i was gonna say it's a small town Thanks, so you kathy. know someone's yeah, gonna, gonna talk gonna someone's is, gonna talk redoing their house <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, by like, a helicopter yeah exactly <laughs> all right ahead on pop star the can't miss moments from last night's Critics' Choice Awards. Plus, Jennifer Lopez and Josh Jamel the snow and ice that's coming to the east. I mean, folks just can't get a break. Out west, I mean, imagine a wet sponge. Once it's maxed out, it can't oh. absorb any more water, and that's what's happening. And we're seeing those mudslides. We're seeing the flooding, and we've got heavy rain now moving east of San Francisco, moving inland a little bit. We also had some heavy rain overnight down in Los Angeles, and the rain is going to continue along with the mountain snow. So we call it an atmospheric river. Imagine a river. It kind of steers the water in a certain direction and this is steering the storms in a certain direction. It's steering them right into the west coast. Now we are going to get a break after today from the really heavy rain although this next storm system late Wednesday and the Thursday it's a lighter storm system a weaker system so we will get some rain but not at the levels that we've been seeing recently with these last man 10 storms. So we could see rainfall rates of about a half an inch per hour additional one to two three inches of rain possible even down into the sandy 
the Ago area. We could see more of that heavier rain. As for snow, it continues, especially in the ski resorts. Another three feet of snow is possible out across parts of the Sierra Nevada mountain range, and this will move inland. We could even see accumulating snow in Denver as the storm moves east. Tom. All right, skiers are going to love that. Dylan, thank you. Yes. That's awesome. I Congratulations. Know. Uh, we do have uh, some pretty messy weather across the country. Of course, we have yet another storm system hitting the west coast, but also right through the middle of the country. We have a little bit of light snow through South Dakota. Some rain heavy at times is going to approach the Chicago area. It's moving through St. Louis right now. We also have an exiting storm system still bringing some snow and ice across New England. Temperatures are actually really cold, especially down through Florida. Highs today only in the 60s. We're starting off the day in the 40s, but that's going to take a turn. We've got warmer air that's going to move in through the rest of the week. Also warm down along the Gulf Coast. And again, temperatures will be in the 40s and 50s back in the Chicago area. So that next storm is just rain. That's a look at the weather across the country. Now here's a peek out your and that's your latest forecast. All right. All right, Dylan, you are not done just yet. Yeah, here's yeah. your other half. Hop start. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. First up, the Critics' Choice Awards were last night. Stars came out to celebrate. I love go. that. Yeah. It is. And they're sh the, the movies, the shows that they've been right. in, just been really fun to watch. They're yeah. deserving of Absolutely. this, which has been awesome. So certainly a sweet moment for both of them, uh, who also took home Golden Globes just last week. And another Wonderful comebacks. Right? Amazing. And earlier it was Cheryl Lee Ralph. Yeah. I mean, there's so many people now who are, you know, they're like, you know what, we're not finished yet. Right. Yeah. yeah, just getting started, really. But it is emotional to yeah. watch. Yeah, watch most good. It. But congrats to all the winners. All right, next up, Titanic. James Cameron's <laughs> epic film. It's celebrating its 25th entry into the whole thing. But okay. they look like they both fit. They yeah. look really cold. I feel yeah. bad for the people who actually had to do the experiment, um, right. but you are going to have to wait to see how it all turned out. Titanic, 25 years later with James Cameron, it premieres February 5th, and on February 14th, it's actually going to be back in theaters. Oh, I didn't oh, know that. Okay. So, Valentine's Day. That'll be fun. All right, all right next up, uh, the 2024 Paris Olympics. The games might seem a little far away, but NBC already unveiled our official logo with a little help from the other Paris. Um, it is fun. It's going to be it's awesome. Excited for it. Looking yeah. forward to uh, it. The Paris Olympics will take place summer 2024, of course, right here on NBC and on Peacock. I love and that. And finally, making space. It's Monday, so that means a new episode of Hoda's hit podcast just dropped. To find it, you can scan that QR code on the bottom of the screen. But because this is